Okay, hello guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. Well, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing an updated um, video on how to resize your uh, custom DIY using the Stitcher Easy Point 4.0 software. Because um, I had this issue when I was doing the tutorial on the um, toilet book covers that I showed you. And I didn't show you how I resized it, you know, when I come back to the second part after I printed out everything. Um, because I couldn't figure out how I did it before. But once I remembered how to do it, um, um, now I have somebody that's having an issue, the same issue I was having when they want their paint to be 60 by 60, but it's printed out, it, when they click to print it, it's printed out way bigger than 60 centimeters. So I'm going to show you how to make that change before you save it or click on anything else that you, um, before, you know, to make the change. Okay. So first we're going to go ahead and click on wizard. We're going to find an uh, image I'm going to use, and I'm just going to be doing a random image. I'm going to use this one. Just to show you um, how to do this uh, sizing before you save it or bring up another window like this um, to make the change. Okay. Now, the thing is with this is that if you change, I mean, if you save the, your, the, the, the painting, you can't go back and change it. It's not going to let you do any of the, this initially uh, wizarding of the image. Um, after you saved it, it's not gonna let you go back and do that. And so whatever that was in this window, last thing that was in this window right here, like this image or anything, that's what it's gonna pull up. So that's why you can't change it. So you gotta make these changes before you bring up a, a new window, this new wizard part right here. Okay, so next we're going to, like I said, this is just for tutorial purpose. And we're gonna click on, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna click on centimeters and we're going to put in 60 centimeters. And I'm going to show you how big it's going to print out. And you can click here or click over there and you'll see that and it'll adjust the size. Uh, now, if you want to um, change the aspect ratio to be, you know, squared, then you have to unclick. I don't have to do that because this, this image is already squared. Okay, so I'm going to click next. And we're just going to up it to 40 colors because there's something else that's uh, the... Uh, the calculations are off when you're doing this part. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the symbols there because again, this is just for tutorial purpose. I'm not going to save the same thing right now. So I'm going to click finish. All right. So this is the image that you're going to be getting. Now we're going to click on print. And this is where it shows you how many pieces of eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper you're going to need to print this image out. Now, as you can see, this is going to be way bigger than 60 centimeters. Okay. Now I've already measured it out. And to get 60 centimeters, approximately 60 centimeters, uh, you're going to only need less than three sheets of um, eight and a half by 11 paper going across the top. Okay, so I'm just going to click cancel. And because that was the last thing in that window, this image was the last thing in the window, all you got to do is click on reopen wizard. Do not click wizard. Click reopen wizard. Because if you click wizard, it's going to open up the window like you're going to, it's going to make you choose another image and you got to start over. So you don't do it. So we're not going to make any changes, but we'll click changes and we're just going to save here. All right. So as you see, um, if I somehow took it down to 31 colors, even though you click back, it's still just sort of colors there. Um, we're going to go back. So now we're going to take it down to say 50. We're going to gradually, uh, read, uh, not 40, but 50. Well, you know what? That was drastic. So let's go ahead and choose 40. We're going to choose 40 centimeters. I'm going to, again, you click over here and then resize that way, you know, automatically put the uh, height in there. I'm going to click next. Uh, 40 colors. And see, it took, for some reason, took it, down, it took it down to 27 colors because you made the image smaller. So now you have 27 colors. Um, and we're just going to leave it like that. And, but if you want to, to go back up to 40 colors, you have to raise it here. You have to take it up to, let's say, 50 colors. And see, it puts it at 35 and so on. So when you make the image smaller, it's also going to change the, the number of colors. Okay, so because it uh, still took it down to 27, I'm just going to randomly put some symbols on here again, again because this is just for tutorial purposes. So, um... It doesn't matter what symbols I'm putting over here. I'm just going to put enough over here so I can get to 
be able to click next. Oh, okay, that's it. I'll click finish. All right, I'm going to again click preview and print, and it took us down to three uh, and a half sheets approximately. Again, I just measured across the top. Um, because it's 60 by 60, you really don't need to um, measure sheets going down. But so it's going to be squared, so you have to do that. So again, uh, again, when you print this out, because our most diamonds, uh, the drills are 2.8 millimeters. Um, unfortunately, you can't change to 2.7. That's as much as it I'd rather have mine a little bit bigger than smaller. And usually 3.0 is uh, the best size for me. They fit perfectly with this size. And you're not going to be able to put... Um, actually go in and put what you want in there. You can't, otherwise it's not going to let you go in and put 2.8. So I'm clicking back and it won't let you do that. Um, 2.6, so yeah, it won't let you, um, it won't let you resize your own, uh, diamonds. That part of it. Okay. So that was too big. So now we clicked on open wizard, reopen wizard and I'll go back again. And we're going to take it down to, let's say, 35 centimeters. And I'm going to click next. That's got 40. So, yeah, so now I got you 40 colors in there. And again, we're just going to add symbols back in there. Like I'm just doing random because I'm not going to be saving this or anything. This is not necessary. Okay, and then we're going to look at that. We're going to click print. Still slightly bigger than see. Now, if you're fine with that, then that's okay. But I measured it out. It's going to be a little bit less um, than three sheets. About like right there. So again, we're going to click cancel, and we're going to click reopen wizard. Now the same changes, and we're going to click back, back. And let's take it down to say 32 centimeters. And let's see how that does. 50 colors, 32 colors now. Again, just suggest as you need it, how many colors you want, you want to get. Click finish, click preview print. That's what we needed at. That it would be 60 centimeters. So. Um, I brought, if so, anybody who wants to do a 60 by 60 or at least 60 across the top or anything like that, 32 centimeters initially is what you need to have this at. Okay. So this would be, this will be approximately 60 by 60 centimeters. When you print it out, this is 60 by 60. Like I said, the, and I got my page, did my page set up. I got my, you know, set up where it'll print like close to the edge like this. So if you have your settings different where you don't use up a lot of, you mean you won't have like a, a whole edge or a lot more paper left on each sheet of paper, um, then that's another factor into it. Uh, because the way I have my page set up, I have my set to these settings right here. Portrait, um, you know, set it at 4.0 on the left, 4.0 on the right. It's like a whole sheet of paper and 4.0. Or, uh, at the top and then at the bottom is 6.0 so um, this is like one sheet and uh, so it pretty, pretty much takes up the whole sheet of paper you don't want to be wasting paper or anything for that matter so that's how I got my settings like this so if you set up your, your uh, images like I have mine set up back with this page set up right here I'm going to show it to you again so take note of it um, this is how your print is going to be uh, gonna print out okay use these settings so that it will print out like this it would print out on the whole sheet of paper because before I mean if you um, when you first set it up and you, when you get to this part it's most likely it's gonna have I think if I remember correctly it's gonna have where it's not going it's not gonna use up the, all the paper it's not gonna fill up the whole sheet of paper it's gonna have different settings here I didn't want that. I don't want to be wasting paper or do a lot of cutting when it's coming out to put it together. So that's why I got my set like this. So that's another thing I had to factor into. If you, you know, if you want to use this method by going by each sheet of paper, you're going to need to print out the right size that you wanted at. Okay. 
So I'm going to go click cancel. And <clears throat> uh, that's going to be size you're going to click open, open wizard again. I'm going to save any changes. Because I think that's when you when you save changes, that's when it's going to end up. It's not going to let you go back and change it. But, but we'll see if, to make sure. But um, again, this is how you save changes. Uh, wait a minute. I went back too far. Let's put back in 32. Yeah, that's 35. 32. I'm click up here and put it back. And that's what you're going to need. Now, again, with the size, uh, I mean, the number of uh, <clears throat> colors you're going to want. It says 32. If you want 40, you're going to go back and just add more colors here. Somehow, these the numbers don't calculate correctly. See, now it's taking it to 36. Um, and go click next, take it to 37. Again, this is what you don't, you don't go by this. This is the maximum colors, I guess, but this is the colors that you're going to get. So that's 44 colors. So now we're going to go back down to like 60, 37. Wait a minute. Let's go 61. That's 39. Yeah, I'm thinking if I probably go back to if I go up to 62. I don't know how this works. Now it's for 44. And like I said, this is actually the number of symbols you're going to be getting. So you don't go by this. You go by this. Okay, so let's go back down to 61 since I want to try 40 colors. So it's going to be close enough at 39 colors. So. I'm going to add some more over here to be able to click next or click uh, finish. Okay, that's it. I click finish and then let me go back. Okay, now we're going to click on view. And this is when you can uh, enlarge it. And that's, it looks pixelated there. And that's what it's gonna look like once you do it up and everything. So you might want to do different colors. And like I said, this this when you do it like this, when you look at this this uh part of it right here, this lets you know if you want to add more colors or not. Okay, we're gonna click on threads, and we're gonna click on assemble, and this is what lets you change colors or anything like that. I'm also doing like a refresh or some. Uh, aspects of the program okay and let's see so I think that's it as far as the sizing go back to schema and we're gonna go back to print again this shows you how many pages you're gonna need way less a lot less than what you uh, initially popped up when I had it set at 60 centimeters but now it is set at 32 centimeters so again for anybody who wants to do 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters, just set it at 32 centimeters because, I mean, like it almost doubles it um, to what you actually want it to be. Um, so, now, I'm going to show you. Let's take this down. Okay, now I'm going to show you what happens when, again, because this is a tutorial, I'm not saving this. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you click on wizard instead of reopen wizard. I'm going to click yes or no, don't bother. This is what you're going to get. This is the last thing in this window because it's now it's making you pick another image. Okay, so I'm going to click cancel. Now, if I want to add changes to this, it's not going to let me because I click on reopen wizard. And that was the last thing in the window. So it's not going to let me go back and make any changes to it. So again, when you want to make changes to this, as far as the sizing and the colors or whatever, you have to click reopen wizard, not wizard, because then you're going to have to restart all over if you click on the wrong thing. Okay. So that was the update. I just wanted to show you guys on when you want to resize your painting, when you get to the print part and it's like it's printing out much bigger than what you wanted. Um, you click on reopen wizard to go back and resize the painting. Um, down to our smallest uh, centimeter size and just keep checking that until you get to the size that you want it to be or closest to the size you want it to be instead of being huge okay so um, hope they helped you guys 
and far as far as the resizing of it and the um the number of colors you're going to get in your painting because again if you look over here also it's going to show just those three the, just those paint those um things so you can still go back and look here and let's see let's change the symbol no no we don't need to do that okay i was trying to see that's the thing about it that most one thing i don't like about this it doesn't number the symbols for you how much you got how many you got here you would probably literally had to sit up here and count them um but yeah that's how you resize your painting and if necessary change the number of colors that you have in your painting before you save it or uh before you click on wizard like i said anything that shows up in this window um right here that's what you're going to get you're not going to be able to change the settings on you so before you do that before you want to make any changes to your painting click on reopen wizard and not this so uh you guys have a very uh, colorful day and happy diamond painting bye